Guys, I am very excited today because we have a new thing. We got a new thing in the mail from Ozone Power. Ozone Power sent us a thing. This right here in my hands is the new Ozone Power uh, Sirocco 3 in 18 square meter. I am so excited. Since the Speedster 3 uh, came out, they only made it in a 20 square meter size. And finally they came out with the Sirocco 3, which is the lightweight version of the Speedster. And they made it in my size. So I am so excited to review this thing, guys. So let me get the camera on the charger and we will dive into the unboxing. You'll notice this wing is in the wing bag, but the wing itself has not been unpacked from the factory, so we can still experience that beautiful unpacking experience together. We will get out of the bag, talk about the Sirocco 3 a little bit more in depth, specs, features, who is it for, what's it do, and uh, we will go out, give it a test flight, and come up with some concluding thoughts on my initial first impressions of the Ozone Power Sirocco 3. 18 meter. Before we jump into this video, if you are liking what you're seeing on my channel, consider subscribing. Hit the little subscribe button, it's right down there. It's really easy to do, it doesn't hurt you at all. Hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when a new video comes out. And finally, like this video so it goes up in the analytics and more people see it. I just want more people to see my videos. Okay, so uh, Ozone Sirocco 3, here's my um, list of things. All right, I wanna cover right here, what is the wing, who is it for, and a little bit of specs. So what is the Ozone Sirocco 3? Well, the Ozone Sirocco 3 is a intermediate advanced level wing from Ozone Power. It is the newest wing in the class, which I really love. If you don't know what Ozone does generally is they will release a version of a glider in the normal weight fabric, uh, and then about a year later, they will come out with the lightweight version. So the normal weight version of the Ozone Sirocco 3 is the Ozone Speedster 3. And that came out about a year ago and it's an absolutely excellent glider and we've seen a lot of people really fall in love with it. Improved from the Ozone Speedster 2, they pretty much took all of the efficiency parts of a free ride. Big ol' freaking dynamic set! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! and applied it to the design of the Sirocco 2, so we end up with a glider that is faster and more efficient while still remaining stable and comfortable in turbulence. I'm filming! So that brings us to the Sirocco 3. What is the Sirocco 3? Well, it is the same exact design profile as the Speedster 3, but they're using a lighter weight fabric, um, so the wing will inflate better. It gives it a slightly more dynamic handling characteristic and uh, a little bit more feedback from turbulence. All things I kind of enjoy. Another thing that I'm really, really excited about, in fact, the most excited about of all of the new characteristics of the Sirocco 3 is the fact that it is an 18 meter. They went all the way down to 18 meters squared. When we're talking about all these wings, the Sirocco 3 is an intermediate to advanced level wing. It is a C class wing, somewhere in between the Spider and the Free Ride in the Ozone lineup. And who is this wing for? Well, this wing is for an intermediate or advanced level pilot who is looking for either a stepping stone from their Spider to a Free Ride. They're looking for a stable and efficient cross country glider that is fast but doesn't oscillate. It's somebody who's not looking for something in insanely dynamic, looking for that forever glider that's gonna do everything they want and more. They're never gonna be bored of it. They're gonna have plenty of speed. It's always gonna be there for them. It's a great option for that if you're a uh, 100 plus hour pilot. And finally, if you're somebody like me who flies slalom wings all the time, sometimes it's frustrating to fly this wing that's just rocking and wants to turn all the time. And 
you still want, you know, 85% of that handling, you get yourself a Sirocco 3 because it's going to be a lot more easy to deal with. It's not going to oscillate, have less feedback and turbulence, but still be just as fun. Let me read a little bit from the Ozone website. Okay, I got the Ozone website pulled up on my computer. They're saying, the Sirocco is the lightweight version of the Speedster, but offering improved levels of performance, agility, and speed in a lightweight and compact pack designed predominantly for long distance par paragliding at cross country flights for intermediate or advanced level pilots. It is a fun, dynamic, and versatile wing that is also perfect for low-level carving, slalom flying, and as a lightweight travel companion. The Sirocco 3 combines the well-proven design elements of the Sirocco 2, Freeride, and our other high-performance paraglider range with the lightest lightweight construction techniques. 3 shape on the leading edge, extra cells, better sync rate and performance. More performance equals better fuel economy, a higher top speed, more speed range in the trimmers, more precise and dynamic handling, dip steer or 2D systems pre-installed by the factory. Choose your style! The Sirocco 3 is our most versatile par paragliding wing yet, suitable for a wide range of pilots and flying styles. A great all-rounder, fantastic for both cross-country flying and traditional competitions, while being highly capable for aggressive low-level carving and solemn racing. But all the way up to 28 meters, you could honestly probably do a tandem on that. Basically, what they're saying is they've taken the Sirocco 2, they've taken the free ride, they've taken the good parts of both, and they've combined them into a better wing with overall newer technology for something that's faster, safer, more agile, and more efficient, which I'm very excited about. Real quick, we'll talk about aspect ratio, some specs, some numbers. The aspect, the flat aspect ratio of this wing, if you're familiar, is 5.6. I believe that the Spider has a, a flat aspect ratio of 5.1 and the Freeride has a flat aspect ratio of 5.65, so it puts it closer to the Freeride but somewhere in that intermediate advanced level of uh, aspect ratio while not being anything insanely skinny and long. So with all of that said, let us go out into the shop. We will get the wing out of the bag and get some initial unboxing first impressions. I'm out here with the Sirocco. Uh, I'm taking it out of the bag for the very first time and we'll give it a kite. Ozone has this new awesome bag which is better than the old bag because it's better. It's got an included little riser case right here. I'm gonna slide this open. Oh, it looks like a Sirocco. And uh, here we go. Let's unfold it. Oh. It never gets prettier than that. Ooh, nice colors. I kind of like that. I'm gonna break the seal right here. Oh, it's official. There it is, guys. Sirocco 3. You know, the leading edge looks a lot like the free ride. They have these uh, supports in the middle to keep it more solid. They got these supports down here to keep it more solid. It's got that shark nose that everyone knows and loves. There it is right there, Sirocco 3, 18 meter. I am so excited. Let's get this thing out and uh, go for some kiting. Hey Jill, could I bother you? Can you film me doing my first kiting test on the new Ozone Power? Sirocco 3, 18 square meter. Okay, so I slapped my helmet on so I can uh, talk to you guys while I kite. We got just a little bit of wind. It feels like an 18. It feels markedly smaller than most wings. So we'll go out here in the field. Windsock's doing its thing. And I'm just checking to see where the brakes are set and uh, how it handles. It's always a good idea to cut your wing. Before you fly your wing, never just take a wing out of a bag from the factory and fly it. You don't know what's going on. Okay, let's get the wing laid out. Ready to inflate. Tangled? Who's tangled? Here we go. Oh god. Oh gall. Oh gall. Oh, who? Jeez. Gotta say, kiting this thing feels a lot like my free ride. I'm pretty happy with this thing. Oh no 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 no! Oh, 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 oh. Let's get it out on the road, out in the sky, take it for a flight, and then give it a dug score. Well, it kited good. I think the brakes are gonna be super low in flight, but I think we're ready to fly it and check it out and see how it flies.
Okay, well, I've decided to take the Speedster for, or the Soraka for a rip. Um, it's 5.30 in the afternoon. Still a tad thermic. But hey, that's what this wing is here to do. We're just waiting for, waiting for the wind. I feel, I feel a breeze. I feel a breeze. That's pretty lame. Let's give it a whirl. Wow, that comes up easy. Checking the surge. Looks kind of like a free ride so far. It's not too turbulent. And we are off on our merry way. Let's do the first turn. Oh my gosh! She lives up to the hype! That is bonkers! Dude! I am so impressed right now. It feels so locked in in turbulence. Like I'm cutting through it, it feels a lot like the free ride but with kind of a more confidence-inspiring feeling. It doesn't have that tendency to roll like the freeride does. Look at this, I am getting thrashed. See that? Sirocco 3, no care. I'm expecting a mojo, and I'm getting near freeride performance. This handles, like, hands down better than my old Doberman 2. Dude, what? Yo, this is not... This is next level good. Guys, I'm not even joking. Like, we are flying in trashy air. And this wing is quite the beast. Let's see if we can't stick a stanky leg -like foot drag past Jillian. Does it swoop? Oh, hell yeah, she swoops. Oh, yeah, it is bumpy out, and this wing is just taking a hit stride. Let's do some scientific, unscientific wing over tests. Let's start with some gentle off power wing overs. So, go left. Right, one, two, I mean, yeah, man. Oh. I mean, big 270 reversals. Easy as could be. You don't need anything more than this. Big ear. Well, it doesn't care about that. I could not be more impressed by a wing, and this thing does live up to the hype out of the box. I think my real goal in reviewing this is to kind of give the initial first impressions, which is going to be right now, and kind of like tonight I can go back up and get a smoother air report um, and how it handles in just some regular uh, freestyle flying and not in absolutely garbage conditions. But I'll tell you what, we are not oscillating, not one bit. It actually feels weird to me, like I'm just expecting it to oscillate, and it's not. It's tracking dead nuts straight. You know, a lot of people are going to be like, Ah, Judson, you just work at Aviator. You're ozone biased. That's what you are. You just sell those wings, and therefore, you like them, and it's like, no, I was flying a free ride before I came here, and if you haven't noticed, I'm still hanging on to my old Scout, which we don't sell, and I'm just flying the stuff I like to fly, and I'm giving you a genuine and honest opinion on them, because I believe it's important to uh, have paramotor content out there that is like not biased like I don't sell the equipment like if you go after this video and you're like oh man Judson says that he likes this wing so I'm gonna get this wing I'm not gonna make a cut on that like I'm just speaking 
what I think. If I told you I hated a wing, I'd tell you I hated a wing. When I flew the Speedster 3 first, I hated it. This thing, though, golly. Let's see how the tip steer works. Oh, it's so effortless. Oh, man. You put that on the toggle? Oh, this... Okay, just just buy this wing. You don't need a free ride. Just just buy the freaking Sirocco. Jump plane, jump plane, where are you? Alright, we're going to come in for the landing now. Um, I am pretty satisfied with this flight. It's so flickable. It's just like... Flick, flick, flick. Flick, flickety, flick, flick. Wee-hoo. Here we go, coming in for the landing. We got a nice thermal, thermic gust. Oh, she freaking lands too! Oh, let's not set it down on the pavement. Let's set it down on the grass. It's so thermic! And this wing is so good! Eesh, eesh, eesh. Just forget you saw that. That was horrible. Jill, it's so good. It's like, it shouldn't be that good, but it is. It feels so locked in in the turbulence. Like, it doesn't care. Like, it, you feel it, but it's, like, really solid. It doesn't oscillate at all. And it handles, like, as good as my free ride. Like, I might get one. It's really good. And it doesn't even have 2D time. It's really good. Like, it's way too good for what it is. Like, it feels so intuitive to fly. It's so easy, but it handles, like, super good. That's got two big thumbs up from me. So, so I've flown the Sirocco 3 uh, a few more times, and well, I didn't film any more um, in-flight sections. I did want to kind of give my concluding thoughts on the glider after flying it in multiple weather conditions. So. Obviously the first flight you saw was in quite trashy air and the wing did handle it really awesome. I was very impressed at its stability and turbulence. Moving forward into some no wind smooth air conditions, which I experienced this morning, the glider inflates no wind like superbly well, just like a free ride just comes right up and waits for you. And uh, the launch is super nice and easy and controlled. And then uh, handling in no wind, in no turbulence is still absolutely stellar. Um, I got the chance to use full speed bar and I actually really liked the way the tipster lines were long. Like on full bar, the tipster toggles are really low and they're super comfortable for long distance flying. So I'm looking forward to doing some longer cross country flights on this glider in the future. But overall, if you are looking for that step up from your Spider BGD Luna, um, anything like that. If you're a lighter pilot looking for something that's not quite a slalom wing as your stepping stone or just a excellent all-arounder and cross-country glider, Sirocco 3, buy one, get it. It's, it's pretty sick. Yeah, you can get your new Sirocco 3 if you want at Aviator Paramotor. We have them here. You can order them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much if you made it this far into the video. I really appreciate it. And if you did, go ahead, go down there. You're already there. Drop a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, fly good, don't suck, be safe, make good choices, don't do drugs unless you know what they are. Bye.